Manchester United became the first team to reach 700 Premier League wins in what can only be described as a crazy game of football. There was just about a tactical side to this game, so let's go through it on the whiteboard. In the early stages of the game, United struggled to create space against Leeds' man-for-man system. We didn't see the lateral movement of Fernandez to pull Leeds' single pivot out of position to open up the central areas, a tactic used with great effect in the 6-2 and 5-1 wings. We just sat against our opposite number, which enabled Leeds to get stuck into us. Going to a screenshot of the game, we can see United just sitting against their opposite number. No movement or interchanging of positions to put pressure on Leeds' man-for-man system. As a result, there are no progressive passing options. But as the half went on, United started to take Leeds' man-for-man system apart in two ways. The first was the individual battle between Pogba and Forshaw. In this system, if your man is superior to you, you got no chance and Pogba destroyed Forshaw in the first half. Going to screenshots of the game, Pogba goes from here in a one-on-one -on -one with Forshaw to here where he plays Ronaldo in who should have scored. The second and more tactical way in which United broke Leeds' man-for-man -man system was the forward movement of Lindelof. When he was breaking out from the back, Rodrigo wasn't going all the way with him. The chain reaction to this situation was other Leeds players were having to lead their man to recover the situation, which opened up the space for United's forwards. This was demonstrated perfectly for the second goal. Going to screenshots of the lead up to the second goal, Lindelof is making his move with Rodrigo looking to go with him. Lindelof plays a 1-2 with Sancho and when Lindelof gets the ball back, we can see that Rodrigo has given up the chase. By the time Lindelof gets to the edge of the box and lays the ball off to Sancho, we can see how Lee's defence has been pulled across the pitch to recover the situation, creating a three-on-one on the blind side of three quarters of the Leeds defence. In the second half, Bielsa made some tactical tweaks that changed the game. The first was switching for sure to the single pivot role to get him away from Pogba, with Click taking his place. Leeds then stopped trying to play through midfield and just filtered everything down the flanks and got Click and Rodrigo getting forward from midfield to create the attacking overload. This got United's midfield doing what they hate to do, which is running back towards their own goal, and Leeds started to swamp us. Gary Neville said in commentary that he couldn't believe that Rangnick sub Pogba off. At 2-2, my analogy was, if we don't take Pogba off and put Fred on, and take Lingard off and put Alanga on, we will lose the game. Why? Leeds were battering us down our right, their left, because Lingard was doing nothing to help wan defensively and Pogba was letting Click run off him and we were getting completely overwhelmed. Going to screenshots of the game, Click is Pogba's man and he hasn't got a clue where he is. In the same move, Click gets the ball in our box and gets a shot off with Pogba not even in the picture. This next screenshot is the worst part of the game for me. This is the 50-50 between Lingard and Firpo in the lead up to Leeds first goal. Look what Lingard has done. He jumped in the air, shitting out of the 50-50 and Leeds go on to score. And don't even get me started on how bad he was for the second. The devil's verdict is, anyone who questions Rangnick's credentials as a football manager after this game needs to study football a bit more. He understood how the tactical flow of the game had changed in Leeds' favour and made brave decisions to change it. Pogba was the best player on the field in the first half, but as always, when teams make him run back towards his own goal, he becomes a liability. Oli would never have made those changes, he would have waited until we were 3 or 4-2 down and aimlessly thrown subs on in desperation. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the game. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video.